Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So today I want to talk about the tug of war going on in the economy. And I say this because we had an interest rate raise recently of 25 basis points. And we do that to slow inflation down. So on one hand, we're trying to slow inflation down and raising interest rates. But on the flip side of that, that's slowing the economy down. And the bottom line is that you have to have both. You have to have interest rates come lower to stimulate the economy. But the first thing that they have to take care of is inflation. And that's the rising cost of goods. So I put this picture here because this is truly a tug of war. But sadly, you also have banks. And banks have been under a lot of pressure recently. A lot of the regional banks have been under pressure because you've seen interest rates rising and they haven't been able to manage their balance sheet very well. So you're going to continue to see some pressure on banks, but this is not a systemic problem. But rising interest rates have hurt the balance sheets of a lot of these banks and they haven't managed it perfectly. But then you have a run on the banks. You truly have a panic where people are going in and pulling money out of banks banks and that creates the bigger problem. So a lot of these banks have been in fine shape, but then when people start to take a run on the banks, that's when you start to see the balance sheet get way out of whack and then they become insolvent. And I bet you're going to start hearing a lot about short sellers putting out negative news about banks, pushing the stock price down and profiting. So I think that a lot of this stuff is going to be self-inflicted and um, do not get caught up with it. Do not worry. Your money is safe especially if it's $250,000 or, or under. But even if it's over $250,000, your money is probably going to be safe because the FDIC is going to insure those deposits. But having said that, the bottom line is that we're going to continue to see interest rates kind of maybe go up another 25 basis points, and then we're going to start to see them come down. And that's going to be really good for the stock and bond market. But I just wanted to kind of throw out that there is a definite tug of war going on here. And I want you to understand that we have to take care of inflation first. Then we're going to see a sharp decrease in interest rates to stimulate the economy. So who's going to win here? I don't know. But it looks like a good match. Thanks.